Old Town Sun-Dazed Kolsch Style Ale. There is the bottle. On the label, it's a guy in a pool. <laughs> I just actually noticed that. Wait, what the hell? There's a deer up top and then a guy in a pool with the galaxy in the background. Brewery is located in Portland off of MLK. 4.8 APV, 18 IBU, original gravity. This is weird. OG 11.4. That's actually Plato. Multiply that by 4. 1.045. Here's what I was reading on the side. On their website, it doesn't say a whole lot. Text is very little. The ingredients, the hops are Pearl and Liberty, German coal yeast, and the malts are very simple. Pilsner, which is a light malt and cara foam, which increases body and the foam. Five dollars. And I'm going to go ahead and try this out now. very pale straw color. There's thin foam, half inch or so. I don't get anything off the head. No smell at all, no aroma. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I'd rather get nothing than something foul, skunky, like somebody forgot to wipe and put their underwear on. Well, I'm gonna go and take a, take a drink now. Light fruit, very subtle. Um, sticks to the roof of my mouth. Doesn't even touch my tongue, goes right to the roof of my mouth. Tastes medium body. There's those indistinguishable fruity notes in the background and some subtle sweetness. This would be a good hot, hot day summer drinking beer. When I think Kolsch, I think of clean, crisp, very light. This is not that at all. They say it's a Kolsch style now, so German Kolsch. Now, um, even though the website says that they use German Kolsch yeast, uh, maybe they do, but it sure as hell doesn't taste German to me. To me, it tastes like just a typical American light summer beer. Now that I've had that, I'm going to try the bottle. Sometimes the, the flavors on the bottle are different. As a bottle gives me a, it gives me a fuller mouth flavor, it doesn't just stick the roof of my mouth. It covers more of my mouth now, and the flavors are more. Well, they're they're all over the place. A little spicy and peppery, not like a saison. It's not that bad, but I still don't think this tastes like a Kolsch. There's no malty in this at all. I don't get any off flavors to it, so that it tastes like they did a good job cleaning. There's no diastole, no fusel alcohols, no acetone paint thinner. There's nothing. There's nothing weird about this. Will I buy this beer again? I might buy one more bottle, but I wouldn't buy two or three. One would be enough. Would I recommend it? I would recommend it on the condition that you realize it does not taste like a like a German Kolsch. Fairly easy drinking beer. I don't think it's phenomenal. I think it's very average. Okay, so once again, Old Town Sundazed Kolsch Style Ale. I'm going to finish this off and finish my review. Cheers!